solve. So if you multiply a positive number times a positive number, you get a positive. That's what you're used to from way back. When you multiply a negative number times a negative number, you get a positive number. And if one of the numbers is negative and one's positive, whether it's the positive one first and the negative one second, or vice versa, when one's negative and one's positive and you're multiplying, you get a negative number. Now, the nice thing about multiplying and dividing, okay, is that the rules are the same. So if you divide a positive by a positive, you get a positive, okay? If you divide a negative and a positive, you get a negative. And if you divide a negative by a negative, you get a positive. So you can group these rules together so there's not that much to memorize or remember. This one you already know from way back. Two negatives give you a positive, and if one's positive and one's negative, you get a negative. You don't want to confuse the rules with adding and subtracting with the multiplying and dividing. They're, they're two different types of uh, rules. But here we're going to do some examples and I'll show you. So if you have a negative 2 times a negative 3, we have two negatives multiplied together, so that's going to give us a positive 6. You just multiply the numbers and determine the sign. Here we've got a positive 5 times a negative 7. 5 times 7 is 35, but one's positive and one's negative, that's a negative 35. So for example, you wanted to spend $7 on you know, a notebook, let's say, okay, and you wanted to buy five of them, that's 5 times 7, you spent $35, so that's one example. Okay, here we've got a negative 144 divided by 12. 144 divided by 12 we know is 12, but a negative divided by a positive is a negative. Okay, this one here, a negative 32 divided by negative 8. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. A negative divided by another negative would be a positive. So this is positive 4. Okay, now this last example is a little bit trickier. We've got a whole group of numbers here multiplied together. We've got a negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2. We have 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. We have negative 2 times negative 1, which is going to give us positive 2. Positive 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. So the final result is positive 2. That was a lot of work, but we could have made it a little bit easier. If you have an even number of negatives, so for every two negatives you get a positive, 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 and a positive times a positive times a positive is a positive. So if you have an even number of negatives, two, four, six negatives, if it's even, you're going to get a positive. If we added one more negative on here, a negative times this positive number would be a negative. So if you have an odd number of negatives, it'll be negative. If you have an even number of negatives, it's going to be positive when you're multiplying or dividing. So this has been how to work with positive and negative numbers when you're multiplying and dividing. Just remember the rules here, and you've got it. I'll see you in the next video.